thank you all for coming this morning. Uh, basically, what we want to talk about today is our, our Columbia Fire, Columbia Richmond Fire Department Summer Youth Academy, the return of it. Uh, this is something that we did last year. We want to certainly do it again this year. Before I move on, I do want to thank uh, uh, James T. McLawhorn. He is the president and the C CEO of the Columbia Urban League. And truly, this initiative is something that we're partnering with. Uh, we're thankful for the Urban League even uh, wanting to partner with us to, to do this academy. Um, this is the second year that this academy will be going on. It was very successful last year. And I think that we have some very great participations. As a matter of fact, we already had calls from people who want to come back this year because of everything that they learned. You know, we kind of give them a, a, a look into what is a, what the life in the fire department. And we're hoping that something like this will spark them to want to, you know, even join the fire department. So that's kind of what that's kind of what our goal is. But also, it gives us some life experiences, uh, not only from our firefighters but also from just in life in general, um, just the stuff that we, we sit down and talk to, with them about and just try to inspire them to want to do great things. Even if it's not in the fire department, we want, we want to inspire them to do great things. So last year we hosted about 12 kids. This year we want to host a little more than 12. So that's kind of what we're here to talk about today. So without for, I want to introduce also uh, Mr. J.T. McLawhorn we can kind of give you some more insight on how you can sign up and just from the Urban League's perspective. So, Mr. J.T. Matlon. Yeah, good, good morning, everyone. I want to express our profound appreciation uh, to the Columbia Richland County Fire Department because we, we contacted them last year and we asked them, can we have a safe haven program, a summer program for young people? And they were able to, to turn it around in about two weeks to put a program together. And I'm just so grateful again because normally when you ask people about doing something, they tell you, well, we don't have enough time. But time is not on our side. You know, when you think about the disruption that goes on in our society, you know, sometimes that stuff is just spontaneous. But we got to be able to respond to it. And the fire department did respond in a, just an outstanding way. They engaged the young people. Uh, they were just really excited about it. They gave them encourage, encouragement, build self-esteem. Years ago, we, we had this philosophy, uh, this slogan that said, hire a kid and stop the violence. And someone said, well, what do you mean by that? That's nothing like work experience. And we live in a society today where people have gotten away from work. We have lost work ethics some kind of way. And I can tell you that work is the most significant platform for a young person to launch and be successful in life. And you're around great role models here. Uh, and they understand how to make good decisions. I can tell you, I don't think anyone make better decisions than our fire, firemen. They deal with crisis all the time. And so it's just an honor for our kids to be part of this uh, academy with the Columbia Richland County Fire Department. So uh, this program, uh, we were taking applications. Now you can go to the Herb League website uh, and apply. We only have a limited number of positions at the fire academy, but we also have uh, summer jobs in other areas. So we're encouraging parents to get your young children involved. Let's teach them about work, enhance their interpersonal skills, learn a skill, and maybe one day they'll become a fireman. I can tell you, uh, before I started watching fire on TV, you know, everybody got a fire program on TV now. But before that, this is a real deal now. These people are just, they're just actors. But our members of the Columbia Richland County Fire Department, they do this work each and every day with great integrity and great caring for our community. So again, we're just grateful to have an opportunity to, part, to partner with the Columbia Richland County Fire Department. And again, if, if you want to be a part of this academy, uh, certainly get in contact with the Columbia Urban League and they will guide you the rest of the way. Uh, we're looking to start this academy uh, in July. We're going to run it from July the 10th through the 21st. Uh, if you run out of our headquarters station, but, but everything that takes place will not just happen here. I do want to take this opportunity also to, to just say that I really want to thank our firefighters because certainly they step up to the plate all the time and they are, they, they are very flexible and they don't mind taking on, on things of this nature. So I want to thank them for just their willingness to, to help out with this program. Um, 
So again, if 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 you know anyone that wants to sign up, uh, certain they can uh, get in contact with the Columbia Urban League, and uh, you know we'll go go from there. So I think it's a great program. They do some good things, and we look forward to making sure that it happens again this year. On uh, the interpersonal skills they teach young people, you know, life is about relationships, and so so many young people have not been around role models like we see uh, in the leadership and the members of the Columbia Richland County Fire Department. And so this is really important. It teach them um, uh, interrelation skills, uh, nonverbal communications, and then they can ask people about different issues, and, and that's gonna result in them being able to make good decisions. And so uh, beyond the uh, work task that's engaged in the fire department, they learn something as significant, developing interpersonal skills so they can be successful. What I like to do is um, get someone to come up to count who really kind of spearheaded this program last year. And he, kinda, he can kind of tell you about what happened last year. So uh, Captain Patterson, who will be heading up this program this year as well, so I want to get him coming and just talk a little bit about the program. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, last year, the program was a success. Um, we did a lot of team building issues. We did some first responder and some fire department living. We taught more in education and adjusted everything to give them a better um, view of what they want to do when they grow up or, or what they want to endeavor into. So this year, we hope to be a little bit better and more organized and see what we can give back to the community. So again, if you want to be a part of this, contact the Columbia Urban League. But also I would say this, you know, every day we try to at least have some substance for them, some, some lunch. And so if, if there are any businesses out there that would like to donate uh, lunches um, for this cause, we'd certainly be glad to, to accept that. Um, they can call us at 803-545. 3700 uh, to make that known. But also, if you want to contribute to the Ur Columbia Urban League in this program, a sponsor a child, you can certainly do, do so through the Columbia Urban League. I, I, we also want to thank the city of Columbia, too, because there's a water bill. When you get receive your water bill, you can make a donation for youth leadership development. Uh, this um, opportunity has been available for the past 20 years. Uh, we're going to do more in promoting it because we got to serve our children. Our children are in need, and we can see them there trying out to adults. I tell people quite often we don't have a youth problem, we have an adult problem. And it's important for us to be the role models for our young children and help them to develop and help them with making good decisions.